Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming and match day two of the UK BBL. Um, this game is obviously against uh, Norse. Um, my team value is um, still very low. It's uh, I think it's a thousand. I'm not sure I got any skill ups after the last game. Um, and this is against a pretty fresh Norse team as well. Um, as with the last video, I'm just going to be uh, talking over the replay. Um, I played this game uh, weeks and weeks ago, uh, so I can't remember. I can't remember anything about it. So, as with the last one, I'll just uh, point out my uh, tactical errors. Uh, it looks like I have actually leveled one player. It looks like just one of the Chaos Dwarfs there has got Claw, which will be handy. Not so handy against the Norse, because they're all armor 7 anyway. So I'll probably be trying to throw him at some um, of the uh, the werewolves or the Ulferners, whatever they're called. Um, with this, this is one of those matches which it's going to be very much down to the the dice. Uh, the strength of my team at this level is the fact that you know I've got block on all of my players uh, and I've got tackle. Um, and the strength of my opponent's uh, team is he's got block on everything as well. So uh, we're probably going to be having some some punching. Uh, start with a blitz, which is obviously a great start for me. And the ball has landed, uh, well, is, is kicked very close to him. So he can quickly pressurize the ball. Um, so this, uh, this season seems to be um, kicking off quite badly for me at the moment, doesn't it? That's, uh, that's that's never a good thing, is it? Getting a blitz, getting your key player knocked down straight away. Him being able to have loads of players. I'm, I'm hoping for a touchback here. Hoping for a touchback. I can't remember if I get one or not. But that's what I'm hoping for. And no, I don't get one. So I'm immediately... I've got a lot to deal with here, a lot to deal with here, and I can't clear all the players off the um, off the ball. Uh, so it looks like I'm not even attempting to clear the players off the ball, knowing that I won't be able to do it. So I'm just trying to reorganise my defensive line uh, to cover off against this blitz. to get two knockdowns but no armor breaks yet mighty blow would be a lovely thing not quite sure why not quite sure why I did that to be honest with you wasn't really thinking straight there the ball you know, I could have, I could have sort of come and blitzed the player here, uh, and then had more people standing next to the ball potentially. I don't know. That's that's kind of made the ball completely free for him now. So I'm not sure why I did that. I do find that I tend to start the game quite badly, and then I get better as I get into it. <laughs> just a thing. I've noticed that on tabletop as well. It takes me probably four or five turns to actually realise that I'm playing the game. Uh, so my opponent wasn't punished by a poor uh, blitz there. Uh, blitzing a two die into a one die is never really something you want to do. But I've just given him, a f you know, with that scatter there, gave him a free, free pick up really, didn't it? Is that to use his re-roll there? But he's rewarded with a, a KO. So he stole the, stole the ball on my drive. I'm a player down. He's run off with the ball. Uh, all my players are pretty sort of tagged. And I can't get a knockdown. So yeah, it's going well. First knockdown. down. 
and this is exactly what I was saying at the start. This is going to be down to sort of the block dice. Uh, I seem to be rolling uh, a lot of both down results, um, which because all of his play, well, most of his players have got block. It's not really actually doing anything. I'm not really sure what I thought I was doing there. Guess just trying to have a big wall. Stamp on the, uh, the werewolf. Only a stun. So with my position in there, I have made it quite easy for him to sort of run round. So uh, yeah, I didn't spread the line. Should have spread the line a little bit further across to make it a bit more tricky for him to sort of knock me out of the way. Now he can just sort of tag these players and he's pretty much away. Um, yeah, that's a poor couple of turns actually from me. As I said, the dice haven't been great to me so far. Not allowing me to lock anyone down, but but I have been playing quite badly. The ball's in the problem here, but my opponent, despite the one dice, still gets the full knockdown. Yeah, lots of one dice being rolled without being punished. So I can potentially knock down the Ulferna so I can at least tag the ball. Bringing the Hobgoblins across, yeah that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to... But again, just not getting the knockdowns that I need. Still no knockdown. So the ball carrier is tagged, but he can easily knock him off. I do get one arm break and a KO. It's on the wrong side of the pitch really to help out. And just stand my players up. So he can easily get away here and I'm in trouble if he knocks down this hobgoblin because I won't have anybody that can keep pace so it's just into a one die again very risky for my opponent but it's it's not hurting him at the moment that's a completely unskilled player yes he's against my unskilled player but that frenzy was not not a good play but he's managed to knock down the two players, my only two players, which had any chance of getting to his ball. Um, so that isn't good. Not sure why he decided to blitz there. I think here I'm just thinking, well, let's try and get a little bit of attrition going. He's going to score. Let's just make him hurt as much as possible. Punch the Ulferna with the claw. Does it do anything? No, I roll a six. And now blitz in. That does free up the Hobgoblin to harass around the back, I guess. I, I want him to score quickly at this, ti at this time. Uh, so I'm forcing him to deal with this Hobgoblin. And he's got a Bull Centaur to think about as well. So he's got to blitz this guy down and then run all the way because the next turn one two three four five six seven eight nine I can basically tag his ball carrier with the ball it's 
still. It would be a 4 plus dodge now, but it's potentially worth doing if it's to save a score. So yeah, he's blitzing the, uh, the Hobgoblin. Again, gets exactly the result that he needs. And we have the Centaur knocked down over here. All the knockdowns. And he's decided just to score. So it was slightly risky to stall that out. It might have been worth trying to stall for maybe one turn. Cause a lot of my players were were on the floor. However. You've got to be aware when you're Norse, you are, armor, you are armor 7. If you're getting into a fight, then potentially the attrition could be an issue. So stalling might not be a good thing. It's sometimes better just to keep the uh, the scoreboard ticking over. So my opponent managed to get both of his KOs back, and mine didn't. So I am player down. Quick snap. It's probably going to help a little bit. Uh, still got four turns to score in, so it's not... It's not a fantastic thing, it just means that obviously positioning can be slightly better. And old Brody, is it? Get, yeah, Brody gets the ball. Nice early armor break, but only a stun. Really need mighty blow on this team. More blocks double blocks finally get him down no armor rake another knockdown without an armor break armor 7 is sometimes the hardest armor in the game as proven hobgoblin just moving up for the assist on the blitz Just trying to hit some valuable targets. And then hiding him. So the ball's in a nice little cage. That's That ball is safe as houses there. I've left this hobgoblin a little bit exposed, but I don't really care about hobgoblins, to be honest with you. Yes, they are the ball carrier. As long as I've got one that can carry the ball, then it's okay. You kind of use them as a bit of a bait, really. Get your opponent to commit to punching them, knowing that actually you don't really care. It's the centaurs you don't want to get hit. But again, my opponent is getting all the knockdowns that he needs. So he's fully basing my cage. I've got a nice easy block here to knock him away at the moment. Still got that. So that's my first block. But again, only managed to get a push there. Follow it up for reasons. to re-roll that otherwise that would be a turnover so I've seen that he's committed all of his players over this side so I'm trying to break through and create my cage here with him being slightly out of position one issue I have is obviously this guy is on a sort of the cage corner One die to a skull. Sh should have maybe just left that. And I should have definitely picked up the centaur first. Because although I've moved my cage over. Because of the order of doing that. He can easily now get round and attack my ball. Uh, so that again. Bit of poor play from me. Definitely should have stood the centaur up before taking that one die block. And arguably I shouldn't have even bothered doing the one die uh, block. Because he, you know, he... He was there. 
just being in the way, whereas now he's on his arse. And I've given him plenty of opportunity so he can easily blitz. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, he can blitz with yeah, the wolf earner. Frenzy him into here, so if he doesn't knock him down. Oh, it's a re-roll. But he does knock him down. Stuns him as well. Bounce isn't terrible. He can now knock down the centaur. Because he's got block and I don't. He's got it, so this ball is looking very dodgy for me again. And again, just the, the blocks. I was kind of forced to do a one die there to try and create something. Just not getting any of the results that I need on the dice. Again, a skull. So every one die that I've done, I've been punished for, and my opponent, every uh, one die he's done, uh, he, he's managed to knock me down. So it's just the way it goes sometimes. There you go. Easy to clear. Easy to clear me off now. Blitz this guy away, and then the runner has easily going to get the ball. And that was all because of that that one die that I did there, which I didn't need to do, has led to my cage not being secured there. So, you know, it's really important to make sure that you're doing the uh, the most important moves first and the ones which don't involve rolling dice. If I'd stood the centaur up, it would have marked the guy that blitzed the ball to knock him down. But because I didn't stand that up before failing that dice, obviously we saw what happened. And as I said, equally, I didn't need to do the one dice. I think as I've said in the last match, you, you noticed silly mistakes. Uh, which, you know, when I was playing this game, I probably didn't even notice. That was clearly a misclick, because that was a 5 plus dodge. <laughs> didn't mean to do that. That could have been an instant um, an instant turnover, which wouldn't have done me any favours. Managed to get a knockout. Help with the attrition and move this guy across. I should have maybe run there and then run there. Because he can just dodge away nicely, diagonally. Whereas if I'd put him there, he'd have to dodge back or bring somebody here. So again, slight misplay. I'm playing like a playing like a dog in this game. Not happy with this at all. Team is getting bashed up. There you go, and he scored again. Two scores on my drives. Both, well, the first one was obviously off, off the back of a blitz, but it was off the back of a bit of poor play, poor, poor positioning that led to the score. And uh, the same here. Gave him, gave him the ball, really. It's half time. Do any of his KOs come back? No. Does mine? Yes. So I am now technically one up on the field, but I am defending. So two nil, two nil down. I've got to steal the ball twice. <laughs> score just to draw with a chaos dwarf, a chaos dwarf team which has got no skills 
on any of its players. So this is not looking good. Very poor start to this season. Perfect defence. Always useful. Can now stop him from doing all the blocks that he wants. Forcing him to do some one dies. Pushing up a little bit closer so I can take advantage. So these are all one dies here. Centaur, he doesn't like the centaurs, does he? Does manage to get the knockdown. As usual. And then try some dodge. I think that must have been a misclick, but it gets away with it. And that, it doesn't look like it was a misclick actually, because he, uh, he didn't move further. But drops the ball. Giving me the turnover. So now I've got some nice, nice blocks to do here, haven't I? So, let's get on the pain train. See how much damage I can do. Managing to knock some players over now. Even some armor breaks. Oh, and a dead. Deserved that. Instant apothecary though. Uh, so he joins the subs bench. I'm not sure why he did that because that is just alignment. It would be great if that was dead as well, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's usually the way that this game works, isn't it? Throwing a goblin up there just to harass. Right, so he's in trouble now, isn't he? His front line is decimated or boxed in. The guy who wants to pick up the ball is getting blitzed. But don't get the knockdown. But I've now got two players on that ball. Should have maybe blocked the other way around there. Block there. That would have yeah, would have been a one die though, wouldn't it? So. Just repositioning. So these are all blocks in my favour, or one die blocks that he's got to do. And he's risked the dodge straight away. He's got it. He does get the knockdown on my ball carrier. So again, not being punished by his one dies. Again, not being punished by his one dies. Positively rewarded with the armor break. He's used his reroll, remember. And he's doing these types of moves. Can't get the ball, though. He is just doing as many one dies as possible. Back over to me. I should be able to easily recover this ball and run away. Another armor break, but just not getting the attrition that I need. Push is all I need here. So this hobgoblin can pick up the ball and run away. Will be a bit of a potato, but 
it's worth doing, isn't it? Mm, not sure why I did it that way. Okay. I guess that kind of makes sense. It is giving a a, a four plus dodge. for that. He's going to go for a 2 GFI 1 die block. Makes it, gets him and breaks his armour. Just why not? Dauntless block on the centaur. Knocks him down on the 1 die. Doesn't follow it up. Which is quite strange. Really should have followed that up. Again, all these one guys getting all the knockdowns that he needs. <laughs> that was a very lucky turn for him. Very lucky. That armor break was massive, and knocking that guy down was massive as well. I'm still pushing people round. Still pushing people round. <laughs> Centaur will just move in to help with assisting some punches. Again, trying to get some attrition going. Starting to get armor breaks, but now it's right, going for the pickup. Pick up the ball. Two GFIs to score. With a re rolls in the bag. Managed to pull one back. It was more difficult than it needed to be. But managed to get it. KO comes back. So it's a full squad versus a full squad. So that's a completely armor seven team. That uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not suffered any attrition yet. So kickoff results in nice weather. So the ball scatters twice. Decimated. He's going to blitz the centaur again because he's been doing it all game, so why not? Seems to be working so far. He is the most valuable player there to actually harass because obviously I can just run up and harass that ball if he is not dealt with. He is leaving a nice little path here though that I can sort of get around the back and harass. That's what I like to do with my centaurs. Just harass. People get very scared of them. It's because they are very good players to play. When you start getting some skills on them. Block, break tackle, mighty blow. That type of thing. They become pretty scary blitzers. If you roll agility on them. Well, you've got an awesome ball carrier there, haven't you? Okay, so just dropping a hobgoblin back, anticipating if the move fails. This hobgoblin can blitz. This is a one die. Not the result I needed. Still not the result I needed, but it was it was worth a shot there. Okay, so he's gotta he's gotta do something here. He's gotta deal with a hobgoblin. My claw player has been stunned. Double push, 
but that's all he needed. His ball carrier is completely free. He's got a nice little channel to go down. Bit risky. I know why he's doing it for the assist, but I don't like placing my ball carrier next to a player that's standing. Where I can help it. See, if he, if he was to have failed, you know, a block there, then it's a, an easy one die, isn't it, that you could get. There we go. First player, don't even bother with it, because it's a hobgoblin. Hobgoblins never get a pocktherried. Another armor break. That's exactly what he needs. So you can build this nice little sideline sort of screen stroke cage. A lot of my players are out of position now. Two of those key armor breaks there and the removal of the uh, the hobgoblin. Still not able to knock anyone down. You can easy knock easily knock my uh, centaur down with all those assists, so I have to bring the hobgoblin there to cancel some of them out. He has got a Dauntless player here, Blitz and Run, which is probably what he does, I guess. Didn't even need to do it, did he? Oops. Fairly good play there, I didn't, didn't see that. But there you go, ball's completely safe now, isn't it, really? Let me just run and stand as far away as possible. Blitz the ball centaur. Or just screen him off. Are we going to see a blitz on the ball centaur, maybe? Just a one die, cheeky one die, but they've been working, haven't they? So, so I've now got no players that can basically get to the ball uh, without rolling a shed load of dice. Just push my dwarfs even further away. Another armor break. It's all right. They're only armor nine. One of those games when Armour 7 holds. And the, the one die skull. So my opponent can actually stall out for a bit here. Which is probably what I would do. Because if he was to score, that would give me two turns to score in response. Which, you know, it, I'm not going to win the game, but, you know, it's um, allowing me to score, isn't it? And, and he's got me exactly where he wants me now, really, hasn't he? You know, he's outnumbering me in blocks here. here basically I've got a block here I've got a block there overnight and I've got some crazy one two three four I could blitz the ball carrier potentially it might be worth trying especially with him being near the sideline you know if I was to get the dice I need a blitz it would have been would have been nice 
Would have been nice to get the knockdown there, especially if it had scattered off the pitch. If it had scattered off the pitch and gone up here, <laughs> you know, that could have been a potential 2-2. So that's the thing with a stall in. If you're going to stall, make sure that there is nobody that can blitz you. Even if it is with them rolling a lot of dice, because there's always a chance, isn't there? Now there's no chance that I can't stop this guy. I mean, it's his turn 16 anyway, so he's just going to try and punch my soft targets. So the Hobgoblin. Try and get some SPP. He's still got a re-roll, so he can blow a re-roll on a block, can't he, and then just run in. He's doing exactly what I'd be doing in his position. So I think that in this game the dice weren't great. I'd made a couple of tactical errors in the first half. I don't think I've made it anything too bad in this half. Uh, I've just been just been unlucky my opponents one die extravaganza I don't think I did anything too majorly wrong in the second half I mean him managing to delay my score was a little bit crazy wasn't it but it worked so I'm down a player. Doesn't really matter. It's my last turn. He's going to backline a lot of his players, or he should do. Just giving me three hits on the line of scrimmage. So another loss for the Doom Axes. Not the best start to the season. In fact, it's probably the worst start to a season. I think this is even worse than Comedy is Dead. But stick with it, guys. Stick with it, I can promise you. Things do get better. No spoilers. Things do get better. <laughs> there will be some wins, I promise. <laughs> So he hasn't backlined his players completely, so that's why I've got the centaur set up like that. He gains a reroll, which is always nice for a team that hasn't got a turn. And I haven't got a reroll. So just a few punches really here, isn't it? Always punch diagonally to allow that kind of one-two punch. Break the armor. No removal. We're going for the wolf. The wolf. Do we knock somebody down? No, of course we don't. Story of the game, that is. Cheeky Kaz. at the ball, do we get the pass? Do we get it? That was an impressive miss. Right, so there we have it guys, that was the end of the game and uh, yeah, <laughs> not too great, a couple, uh, couple of errors in the first half which cost me two scores. Um, second half obviously started a little bit better um, with that score and a little bit unlucky uh, in the second half to go 3-1 down. Don't think that was a full reflection of the game. 2-1 probably okay. Um, but yeah, didn't play as well as I could have, which cost me the game in the end. Again, I'm not showing you any of the statistics here because that will give away um, how the team has actually developed. Um, so I'll leave it there and uh, there will be uh, match day three will be uh, next Monday so uh, stay tuned in 
uh, to watch that. Um, remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so and click the notification bell and uh, I'll see you in the next one.